To say I'm in an interesting part of my life will definitely be an understatement. I just had a very good conversation with a mentor of mine, and something he told me is, so he's, he's a basketball trainer and he gets a lot of clients without promoting. He doesn't do Instagram ads or he doesn't have a website, but he constantly has new clients coming in the door. And he says, it's an energy thing. I don't need to promote it. The stuff I do is basic. I'm doing the fundamentals. I'm not doing a bunch of fancy drills. I'm working on fundamentals. But people are attracted to the energy that he exudes. So that's the thing. This, this whole life thing is about energy. You could be the most skilled person ever at your craft or whatever. But if you don't have the, your energy isn't right, it's going to limit how far you can go. I'm out here in the park right now. This is my time to get nature. I exercise out here. There's a basketball court over there. This is the time I, I come out here to really connect with myself, ask myself some hard questions, reflect on the things that I love, what I want to do, what I want to spend my time doing, how I'm going to attract money to me. Because I'm done chasing money. I'm done trying to make money. I want my energy, my passion, my thoughts, my aura to demand the money, to attract it. Because the money's out there. The money is it's all over, you know. It's, it's here, it's there, it's there, it's everywhere. But we have to be the people that attract that money. It's a science, man, but it takes practice. And once you figure it out, it's a lot easier. I'm still figuring it out for myself but I know people who have figured it out. And the way they break it down to me is just, I feel it, I really feel it. So hopefully you out there watching, this resonates with you. This can help you throughout your week, your weekend, whatever day it is you're watching this. Man, I'm like I said, to say I, I'm in an interesting part of my life is, is an understatement. I, I know I'm about to reach another level. I can just feel it. I don't exactly know what it is yet, but I feel it. I'm doing the work. I'm making the changes in my life that I need to, saying no to the things that I need to say no to, the processed foods, limiting caffeine. I don't drink alcohol or smoke. I haven't used THC in probably over a month at this point. I just realized that's something I don't need. Not that I ever thought I needed it, but I thought, hey, it's here. Especially I'm in LA, I'm in California, so couldn't be more legal out here. I'm like, hey, why not? It's here. It's a plant, right? It's supposed to be good for you, right? Nah, I'm not really buying that. I'm thinking that they're doing some tampering with it to make you more addicted to it. Just like cigarettes, when anything is legal, the government is gonna find a way to either addict you to it or lessen the quality of it to where it makes you sick. It's sad. It's sad, but it's true. So I'm done with the weed, done with the alcohol. Haven't really been an alcohol drinker for a while now, but any sort of partying that is going to mess with my sleep, done with it. Hanging out with people that I don't want to spend time with, I'm done with it. Spending time doing things that I don't want to be doing, done with it. Unless it's going to help me get to where I want to go. In that case, it's just a matter of using discipline because not everybody wants to do their taxes but you got to do them <laughs> so in that case you just use some discipline I don't want to ramble too much but I enjoy getting on here and doing these digital diaries using them as somewhat of a time capsule.
And there was a video I was watching yesterday. It's so funny because all of the information, well, at least for me, a lot of the information that I find these days in regards to creating YouTube content is found on YouTube. It's funny. But I was watching this YouTube video last night and the guy was speaking on how people should just share their journey and don't think that you have to be a master at something before you start creating and sharing because there's always going to be somebody that can relate to you. Everybody's going through something. Everybody is at a certain stage in their life that someone else is at, that someone else has been. So they might see a younger version of themselves in you or an older version of themselves. They can use your experience to learn or they can reference your experience when they one day go through that similar experience. It's very multi-layered, it's very deep. And I think if you have the push to create content on YouTube and you don't do it, you're, you're not only doing yourself a disservice, you're doing a disservice to the world and the people that, that you can help just from sharing your story. So experience is our best teacher and everyone has a different experience. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. And that was, uh, <laughs> that was the mentor I was just speaking of. He just left the park, rode away on his bike. And just like that, that's, a, that's another sign to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, everything is a sign. You just got to, you just got to uh, have your eyes open and be ready to see the signs and then act on them. Another thing he was telling me is we got to be good at following our heart, following our intuition. Don't doubt yourself. Doubt is a natural thing in today's society, but. We got to get past that. Follow, follow your heart. There's a reason you get a gut feeling about certain things. You should follow that. And I'm talking to myself more than anybody else. You have to follow your intuition, your gut feeling. It's your consciousness talking to you. You know yourself better than anyone else. God knows you better than anyone else. God is within you. <laughs> Use that God energy to heal yourself, help heal the world. Heal the person that's watching this video. That's real. That's real. I hope this video was of service to somebody. Hope you can take a piece of it, apply it to your life. Send it to somebody that may resonate with it. Because you never know who your experience or someone else's experience could positively affect. I truly appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Thank you guys. Peace.